Hello, very warm welcome. We saw an inspirational comeback complete as one man, Will Correa, was back on the track for testing at Austria ahead of the Formula 3 season. Um, this was an unbelievable like video to see. Uh, posted on F1's Twitter account, one man, Will Correa, Back on the track for the first time since the horrific incident. He was in an ART car with a, an amazing tribute helmet to Anton Hubert. Um, Juan Manuel Correa both, he basically broke both of his legs. Had to go through 20 operations. Had to go through, um, so determined, so determined to get back on the grid. And he's done it. It's complete. He is doing a test in Spielberg. We actually had snow in Spielberg, which is... A, wow, couldn't believe that when I saw that either. But yeah, what an inspirational comeback. So much courage and drive. Literally so many operations. So much like drive to... Would have been very easy to give up. Obviously, the horror scenes at Spa where we lost Anton Hubert and Juan Manuel Correa was involved in the big crash. And yeah, I mean, you would have thought that would have been his racing career over, but he's got so much determination to get back on the grid. And it was announced a couple of months ago, I covered a video on it, that he would be racing for Formula 3 in Formula 3. And yeah couple of tests, F3 hasn't started yet. Obviously, we've seen the return of Formula 1 and Formula 2, but Formula 3 have not started yet. I believe they've got a test in Austria, and then they've got one in Barcelona, I believe. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how he does, and how sharp, how quick he is, how is his reaction going to be. Is he going to be the same driver? I mean... He's gone through a lot of pain. Um, it's just one of them feel-good factor stories. A bit like Roman Grosjean. Like surviving that big fire. It's just a feel-good factor story. And everyone will be tuning into Formula 3 to see how he does and how he gets on. 20 operations. Had to go through so much training. So much determination. Drive to get back on the grid. Would have been very easy to give up. And then we saw him come out the garage in his ART car. And he had a tribute helmet to Anton Hubert. Uh, Anton Hubert's logo on the rear of the helmet. And on the top of the helmet. And then he had his colours to go with the ART car. Now ART a prestigious in motorsport. The likes of uh, Lewis Hamilton. Used to drive for ART, so Stoffel van Dorn, um, George Russell. So yeah, they're a prestigious racing team in motorsport. But I, w I don't really watch F3 that much. Um, I do watch F2 and Formula 1, obviously, but I never really watch F3 because it's always like, it's the first race on and it's always like 8 o'clock, <laughs> 7 o'clock, um, but I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on it this year with um, one man, Will Correa. American born. Like, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how he does. Um, I mean, even if he finishes last every race, it's still an unbelievable achievement to even get back on the grid. So, anything, it's a bonus. Uh, Anything's a bonus. I mean, he used to be in Formula 2. Hopefully, if he does well in Formula 3, he can progress back to Formula 2. But this is a feel-good story as Juan Manuel Correa returns to the track. We must always remember Anton Joubert. But so much courage, determination. Would have been easy to give up for Correa. He didn't. He kept going. Unbelievable story. And we wish him all the best for the season.